The following is an audio drama. An audio drama is an audio-only production with a full cast of characters, sound design, and music. Headphones are encouraged, but not required. Please enjoy the show. Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I keep forgetting I had a door installed. <laughs> come in, uh, come in. Uh, I made a chair out of some books for you. <laughs> come, uh, take a seat. See? Uh, it's amazing what you can do with books. Uh, just, you'll have to stay very still. Uh, it's nothing to worry about, uh, but the books aren't really attached to anything, so if you shuffle or shift or anything, the whole thing might just collapse on you. Anyway, uh, hi, uh, hello, uh, Jagreet, as the Phasmids would say, I think. <laughs> uh, my name is Book. Uh, Book the Booker. I'm Book because I look for books and I put them in my nook. Uh, you know, in, in that I uh, collect books. Um, you, you've never seen a kobold that, <laughs> that reads before. Uh, it's, it's a bit uncommon, I'll admit, um, but I can read. Right, articulate, if you uh, put a sword to my neck. <laughs> uh, but uh, you see, uh, there was this time uh, a pudgy pangle came in uh, with a fiddle and a bundle of papers bound together in some leather. Um, my clanmates, lovable scamps, they are, uh, d d didn't see any value in it. Uh, but, uh, but me, I decided to take a gander myself. The squiggles on the paper were so fascinating, but I couldn't read them. So, you know, I, I went out into the world to find someone uh, who could. Uh, I met a lovely keeper of books called a, a lie barbarian, who taught me what all the little squiggles meant. <laughs> it made my little eyes light up like a volcano, brimming with passion and fire. But, uh, but, 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 no, 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 I mean, I mean, I didn't actually, you know, catch fire, uh, I assure you. Anyway, <laughs> I, I came home and I finally got to read the book. Uh, it was called The Living Adventures of Pragatus the Pangle. It was mostly a lot of uh, prattling about how great uh, Pragatus was, uh, but, 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 there was a doodle of a kobold in the margins. Hmm. There's bound to be even better books out there. Uh, so now, I collect books. Uh, whenever an intruder comes into the lair, uh, if they've got books, uh, papers, pamphlets, the like, anything, <laughs> they all come to me. I've organized all the books by cover. I've got green, blue, red, brown. I stack them all in big piles so I won't lose anything. Uh, except, except for the loose leaf. <laughs> uh, that pile's a little hard to keep dry in a cave. Uh, uh, but, but anyway, so are you looking for a great book to read? I've got lots of exciting true stories about the outside world. There's uh, The Legend of Mortem, uh, Myth of the Hearth. And one of my personal favorites, the entirely fictional adventures of Captain Sharkface. Oh, no? Uh, none of those are doing it for you? <laughs> uh, well, uh, let's see. Um, how about, uh, oh, I know. Uh, oh, it's, uh, you're sitting on it. Uh, can I just... Sorry, sorry. Uh, I just, uh, I tried to make sure none of the books had, uh, had cliffhangers. Are, are you all right? Take it by your silence that you're okay. This is... The Draco Codex. <clears throat> Sorry, that happens sometimes. It, oh, uh, it talks about dragons of old from all around Hearth. Uh, see? Uh, look, look, look. Here's my master. Uh, uh, Gaujinvor the Crimson. His wings are 50 feet wide. He can turn deserts into glass with his breath. And his favorite food, Arcanta Shivalope. Very nutritious. Uh, I think you'd like this book. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit over here in this pile. <laughs> and I'm going to watch you read. Oh, uh, don't mind me. It's just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm mostly surrounded by people who can't read. So I, I'd love to see what it's like to share a book with someone. Uh, go ahead. Okay, so maybe watching someone read is a little weird on my mind. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, look, <laughs> there's tons of dark places in the cave. I, I, I'm just gonna go and give you, give you the privacy that you deserve. Um, you have a lovely, lovely read. 
just gotta go. Just gotta, gotta back, back out. Sorry, enjoy. Um, just to say, my favorite page is towards the back. I think it's page 478. Okay, bye. 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 Hmm. Maybe I should have asked if they could read in the Torah. Books Nook, written by Kennedy Phillips, voiced and sound designed by Ellerby J, with assistance by Angie Sandoval. You just listened to a preview of Clutch, a Cobalt story. If you enjoyed the show, why not consider backing us on Kickstarter? The link is in the description. We hope to see you there, Cobalt friends.